The Iowa Department of Agriculture has a warning for food producers in the state. The spotted lanternfly has been found in central Iowa. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichart tells you what you need to know to keep your garden safe. It's fruit and vegetable week here in the Hawkeye State, a chance to recognize the thousands of growers who work so hard to help put food on our tables. But some of them are worried about an uninvited, unusual guest coming to spoil the fun. This is a spotted lanternfly. They're colorful insects originally from China, Vietnam, and India. But ever since they reached the United States in 2014, they've been a hassle for growers, especially ones with fruit trees. I thought it was just strictly an East Coast pest. Uh, the upper Midwest hasn't really seen it yet, so when you told me it was next door, Dallas County's literally a mile away from me, uh, that kind of shocked me. Two spotted lanternflies were found in Dallas County earlier this month, but we don't know exactly how they got there. Ginny Mitchell with Iowa State's Insect Zoo explains why. The female can lay the eggs on a boat, on a train car, anywhere. And then those are transported throughout the United States. If one of the insects manages to infest a plant, there's multiple worries for growers. They can interrupt a plant's photosynthesis. Basically, that means the plant can't eat. Or it can also cause fruits like cherries or grapes to grow mold. Etchen told me he's been aware of the issues the insects cause in other states for a few months now. And he's hoping he'll be able to keep his apple trees safe from the pests. You know, for a while it was it was a uh, Japanese beetle, and then it was brown marmorated stink bug, and now it's this one. When something is found, uh, we have to stay up to date. If you think you've seen a spotted lanternfly, contact the Entomology and Plant Science Bureau at the number on your screen. In Granger, this is Carson J.S. Reichardt for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Carson, thank you. In addition to reporting sightings of the spotted lanternflies, Mitchell reply, recommends rather freezing them or storing them in a cup with 70% rubbing alcohol. That'll help preserve the specimen for later collection.